Now, I wanted to show you how powerful this technique can really be, whether you're working in Photoshop, Topaz Studio 2, Luminar, Affinity Photo, whatever. All these programs basically use layer masking. But I want to show you uh, some really cool little tips and tricks when you're doing this. So without any further ado, let's get started. I'm starting out in uh, Topaz Studio 2 to show you this technique, and then I'm going to go into Photoshop. And as I said in the intro, this technique works for any type of editing software that uses a layer mask. Now, the reason I'm making this uh, short video today is, uh, is because I had some uh, questions. The last tutorial I did, I used this technique in a, in for a precision detail adjustment. And I've, I've had some questions for, from some viewers saying, I don't quite understand what you're doing here. Uh, can you explain it, elaborate on it a little bit more? And I tried to elaborate in the comments, but I thought today I would actually show you in detail what I was doing. And hopefully it'll clear up some uh, confusion and this will all make sense. So... Let's get started here in uh, Topaz Studio 2. In my last video, I used precision detail. So this time, let's use precision contrast, all right? Let's make some adjustments here. I'm going to over-exaggerate these adjustments. Let's take low and really pull it up a good bit here. I'm going to take medium and pull it up a decent amount as well. And I'm going to take high and pull it up a good amount as well, too. And as you can see right there, I have an image that is really over over process. Here's the before and here's the after. When you're using this technique, I recommend that you make your adjustments a little bit strong on the strong side because we're going to use layer masking to tame them back. And you'll see how really cool this is. So let's come up here next and add a layer mask. That's the second step. And the third step is to come to these three dots. This is Topaz Studio 2, by the way. And we're going to click invert and we're going to put a black hide all layer mask. So that hides my adjustment everywhere. Next, we want to get a brush. So click on the brush and notice something very important here and pay very close attention right here. This transparency slider. You see this black swatch right here. Watch when I start to drag this slider to the right. It changes to a dark gray color. And as I keep dragging it across, it's getting lighter and lighter shades of gray and notice that my number here is changing it's getting closer moving towards 100 percent. but that swatch of color gets lighter and lighter and once i get the whole way to the right at 100 percent, it's totally white so whenever i paint on my image here it's going to apply white paint to my layer mask revealing a hundred percent of that adjustment through now if i take the slider and back it back to the left it'll it'll put less of that adjustment on. And that's how I'm using this one adjustment to get different amounts of that precision contrast on my image. In other words, I want the foreground rocks to have a lot of the adjustment. As I continue to move back through the image, I want less adjustment, less adjustment, and finally less adjustment back here. I'm doing this all through one precision contrast adjustment, which is pretty cool. So let's start out at 100%. Now, what I'm going to do is paint the foreground closest to me. So this rock right here, and I have my edge wear turned on, and I have other videos showing you how I do layer masking. I'm just going to do a rough job here. You're going to get the idea. So I'm getting 100% here. You notice that right there? I'm going to, in this area right up here, I'm going to throw 100% on. This area right in here, I'm going to throw 100% on because it's, it's closer to me. So I have 100% there. Now, as I work my way back, I'm going to take this transparency slider and keep moving it to the left. And I'll get lower amounts of that adjustment on. Okay. So let me take the 100% and let's just drag it back to around 80%, roughly right around there. And I'm going to paint it on this rock right here. Okay. We're just going to paint this in here really quick. Love the red overlay. It really helps you know where you painted. And how about this rock over in here? This is at 80% right down in here. And maybe this area right up into here. So now I have 100% here and I only have 80% here. As I start working back through the image, I will vary this transparency. I'll keep moving it more to the left. That'll give me less of the adjustment and less and less and less of the adjustment. Now let's go ahead and drag our slider back to around 50%. And now let's come into this middle ground area and let's paint this at 50%. I'm gonna stay off the actual, now I'll, I'll paint on the water. I don't think it's gonna hurt anything, but maybe right up into here. 
And of course, I can make my brush smaller so I can paint around this guy. Again, I'm being sloppy here, but you get the idea what I'm doing here, right? Okay, so right in there. And I might also paint on this tree with that same amount right here. Okay, and this, this tree right here is in that area too. So let me make my brush a little bit larger. Now I'm still painting around that 47, 50% right around in there. Going with a little larger brush in here. And let's just paint on this tree right in here. This foreground tree right there. See, it gets that amount too. So, and look at my layer mask. You can see the different shades of gray. I, I have uh, pure shades of white and various shades of gray. Now, this tree back in here, I may want to take that transparency down even more. Maybe say like around 28%. And you got to experiment with this stuff, but I think 28% will do it. And I'm being really sloppy here. But you get the idea what I'm doing here. And that's all I want to do is teach you the concept. Super powerful. And I think you'll, you'll say, yeah, you're right, Dave. This is powerful. But you see that right there? And now these, area, this, these trees back in here, I'm going to take this back to maybe around 15% and just come on these trees in this area back in here and add a little bit less. But you see that I'm, I'm, I'm adding like depth to this image here because I have a lot of that detail in the foreground, which would, would be right. And as I move on back through the image, I have less and less detail. And I don't need to keep stacking up precision contrast filters to do it. I can do it all with one precision contrast filter and save myself a lot of time and a lot of effort. Here's the before and here's the after. And take a look at this layer mask. See all the various shades of white to different shades of gray. Those are all various amounts of that one precision contrast filter, saving us a lot of time. Now, if we felt we went too far, take the opacity slider, drag it back if you need to, if you think you have too strong of an adjustment. Usually, I like to take it the whole way back and then just build it up slowly and stop at the point I like. In this case, let's just leave it up full. Again, here's the before and here's the after. Now we're moving to our Photoshop example. I'm going to the adjustment layers here and you can grab any adjustment you like. I'm gonna choose a curves adjustment for my purposes. And the reason I'm getting that is because I wanna make a gradient on the bottom of this image here. In other words, I want this sand to be darker at the bottom and get lighter and lighter and lighter as it goes up to the top. And I'm gonna make a gradient using a layer mask, okay? And it's gonna be really cool. So what we're gonna do is I already have the curves adjustment layer. Let's change the blend mode from normal to multiply. That'll make the entire image go darker. And let's take our curve on the left-hand side of the curve and drag it down. And that darkens up my entire image. Now what I need to do is invert my layer mask. And that's uh, Commander control I. That's a shortcut to invert the layer mask. Puts a black layer mask and just like we did in uh, Topaz Studio 2, we make a black layer mask and we hide the adjustment. The same principle applies here. There's different ways in Photoshop of making this gradient here. We could use this uh, tool right here, the gradient tool here, but I'm just going to use a brush just like I did in Topaz Studio 2. Let's stay with that theme with a the brush. So let me get a brush tool here and we want a nice big brush like I have here. Okay, and let's make sure our opacity is, is lower. Let's lower that opacity down to about 30%. And this opacity slider is very similar to that luminance slider on the layer mask inside of Topaz Studio 2, uh, changing our, our brush color to various shades of gray. Now I'm starting out with white paint here, okay? And at 30%. And so what I'm going to do is drag across the bottom of the canvas one time like so. And you notice how it darkened the bottom of the canvas here. Now I'm going to take this opacity and change it to about 50%. All right. And now I'm going to be painting uh, a little bit lower on the canvas, right around here. And you see how it got a little bit darker there. And it stayed the same right up in this area. Now let me go and change this opacity to say maybe 60%. Make it a little uh, more lighter. And I'm going to paint a little bit lower yet, and that'll darken off the bottom of the canvas here. So you can see we've come from a darker shade down here, and it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. 
pulling us into the image, which is really cool right now. If I click on this uh, option click or I'll click on this uh, layer mask, you can see the gradient. Pretty cool, right, that I, that I drew on the layer mask. It's lighter at the bottom and it gets darker and darker as it goes up to the top. All right, let's go back to our image. Now, here is the before and here's the after. And don't forget, you have the opacity here that you can take this the whole way off and then just drag it up slowly till it looks good for you. I'm going to leave it at 100%. With one simple curves adjustment, we were able to paint on our layer mask and have that adjustment vary from the bottom to the top adding a darker tone at the bottom and gets lighter as it goes up to the top. Pretty cool. There you go, local adjustments through layer masking. And today I showed you how to use one adjustment, but through layer masking, vary the amounts of that adjustment on different parts of, the, of your image. In other words, on this image, I use the precision contrast filter to add detail, but I add more detail to the front of the image. As I go back, I add a little bit less of that detail and a little bit less as it goes back and back and back. But we, we were able to do that all with one filter through the magic and the power of layer masking. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe and click that bell notification icon. And then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it.